everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your Monday. I know I am because may the 4th be with you. I did not forget. I know a lot of my kids are obsessed with Baby Yoda and like before we left school I saw a lot of Baby Yoda Yodas in art. So we're gonna do a little uh, honor to Star Wars Day and we're gonna make a Baby Yoda corner bookmark. Now if you've ever done that little origami trick of making corner bookmark we're gonna be doing that. And then we're going to be adding a little collaged Baby Yoda on top of it. Now, if you don't have colored paper, we can take white paper, color it in, and tape that or glue that on. Or you can even just draw the Baby Yoda onto the corner bookmark. So, let's get started. May the 4th be with you. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a square piece of paper. It would be preferable if you have gray, because I'm thinking about the little ship that the Baby Yoda is in. Uh, so... If you had a gray piece of paper or we can color this one gray or leave it white so i'm going to be cutting this one square a little trick to cut it square if you don't have a ruler on you you can take this corner bring it up to the top and once you get that nice triangle we're going to cut away all that extra now it's very important in origami uh, to make sure these folds are really nice and perfect so take your time on this. If you're doing this with somebody younger, you can help them with this step or just have that square uh, built for them already. And I want to show off, look at these pretty new scissors I got for my birthday. Thank you, Anne. My sister got these for me. They're gorgeous. I'm so excited. So now we're gonna cut away this extra. And now we have our nice square that we can make any origami with. Now that's actually gonna be the first step of our project, but I'll redo it just in case you already had a square piece of paper. So we're gonna have the point be facing us and we're gonna fold that up into our triangle. And now we're gonna bring this corner and I like to put my hand here to help guide it up. If you have it over here, it might get a little wonky. So I like to go here and we're gonna bring this up to the top corner and these should all line up beautifully and I find that doing this with, uh, you know, I do some origami with kindergartners. Uh, we do one step at a time. I go check and I might refold it for them, but let them experience folding it or help guide their hands. And now we're going to do our second. And that's going to line up and bud up right up against our first one that we folded over. Now this is a nice little simple origami to start with because this one doesn't have to be as perfect. Uh, I wouldn't recommend starting origami with, say, a paper crane, because that's a little more complicated. So now that we have this, we're gonna unfold them. And we're gonna take one flap, one flap. And you notice I haven't rotated my paper. A lot of my students rotated a bunch. Keep it in front of you exactly how we started. And we're gonna take this one flap and fold it down and bring it right to the edge. Don't come past, go right to it. And it should line up with your folds here. You crease it really nice. You can even take your nail, give it a nice crease. And now we're actually gonna be tucking these into this pocket. It's gonna be like you're making your bed. And you're gonna tuck these little flaps in. I like to put a thumb here and use my finger to peel this up. And we're gonna tuck it in like it's nice and flat and then we're going to crease it down once we think it's in there as much as it can there we go now we're going to do this to the next one we're going to get it in there as much as we can now we're going to press it and there we go here's the start of our corner bookmark now this was pretty big considering it was a full sheet of paper origami normally is smaller but I will show you what that's going to look like. It would go on to your, well, that covers my whole notebook, but you get the idea. It would go on to a page of your book. Here's a better sized book or a better sized marker or bookmark. So if we want to bookmark this page, boom, right there, or you can have it go this way. This is the way that we're going to have our baby Yoda right here. Let's keep going. The next thing you want to want to do is trace a circle and this is where you're going to have to experiment with what size paper you're using, what size circle do you need because our objective is to trim a little bit away from the top, a little bit away from this corner, here, 
and the bottom. You don't want to cut away too much of the folded, like this area where it's your pocket. You don't want to cut away all of that because then it won't be a bookmark anymore and it won't be able to be secure. So you got to do a little experimenting of which one is going to be the right size. So this one's pretty good. So I'm going to mark the top, mark the side. I'm just doing this in pencil. You can do it in marker because you're just going to cut this off. And you can also smooth it out a little bit after you're done. Now we're going to cut it. And you'll be able to smooth out to make it. You want to look like his pod that he's floating in. His little baby carriage. Now remember, you could do this with gray paper to make it look a little bit better. But you see, I cut away a decent amount of that corner, but there's still enough here that it's gonna still act like a bookmark. Now I can go back and make those edges a little bit smoother. We're just using that circle as like a guide. If you wanna fix it up after, that's totally fine. Oh, I regret cutting from there. Maybe a little smoother here. The next thing you want to want to do is trace a circle. And this is where you're going to have to experiment with what size paper you're using, what size circle do you need? Because our objective is to trim a little bit away from the top, a little bit away from this corner here and the bottom. You don't want to cut away too much of the folded, like this area where it's your pocket. You don't want to cut away all of that because then it won't be a bookmark anymore and it won't be able to be secure. So you got to do a little experimenting of which one is going to be the right size. So this one's pretty good. So I'm going to mark the top, mark the side. I'm just doing this in pencil. You can do it in marker because you're just going to cut this off. And you can also smooth it out a little bit after you're done. Now we're going to cut it. And you'll be able to smooth out to make it. You want to look like his pod that he's floating in. His little baby carriage. Now remember, you could do this with gray paper to make it look a little bit better. But you see, I cut away a decent amount of that corner, but there's still enough here that it's going to still act like a bookmark. Now I can go back and make those edges a little bit smoother. We're just using that circle as like a guide. If you want to fix it up after, that's totally fine. Oh, I regret cutting from there. Maybe a little smoother here. Now we're going to add the detail of his pod and so you're going to be adding the detail to the full piece so not here where you see the opening we're going to be doing it here and we're going to do it pretty much from where it opens up or the middle of it and we're going to do two straight lines going across this is that opening where we see him out of <clears throat> so our baby yoda is going to be right up here and we're going to do a little outline so we can see that it's a shell so here we go little <clears throat> detail. These are the buttons that open it up. And you can feel free to look at an image of what it looks like. So maybe you do it exactly. So now you're going to want a piece of green paper or again if you don't have green paper this is what you know that scrap that was from your original ship. We could take that cut an oval and the ears and you can even just color it in. So you don't need colored paper. I'm going to do it with colored paper because I have some. But the first thing we're going to be doing is just an oval and you can kind of line it up here to see how big do you want your Yoda to be. I want his ears to be coming off. So I want my oval to be about this big. And I'm doing that in pencil. That way I can erase it. I can fix it. There we go, not bad. 
And now we're gonna be doing his ears. Now I'm gonna cut a section off so I can fold it in half and get both ears at one time. So maybe you're familiar with this little trick. I'm actually gonna fold it so I only see the white. That way I'm not drawing and having that pencil line like I did on the first one. I'm gonna leave it flat over here. And he just has kind of like pointy ears, kind of like a leaf of a, of, of a flower like, or a petal. And they're pretty big compared to his head. There we go, now I have them identical. And we can be attaching those onto there. Also with this scrap, while it's folded, I'm gonna do two little circles for his hands. Cause they peek out of that like brown little like dress that he's in. There we go. Two little circles for his hands. And now I'm gonna get a little piece of brown paper for the clothes he's wearing. And since I can't find brown, I'm just gonna take my markers and color a piece of white paper brown. Cause guys, we just gotta use what we have around us. So I'm just gonna quickly color in a section and now I'll cut that out. Cause I just need a little strip of brown. And remember, you can do this for the whole Yoda if you don't have uh, green. And then there we go. We can go ahead and add the face details on. So he kind of has almond shaped eyes. I'm gonna leave a little bit. I kind of mark where I'm gonna leave it white or green of the paper showing so he doesn't look kind of creepy. If you color it all black, looks, oh, that one turned a little bit all black. You could also, if you make a mistake like that, go ahead and use either like a white pen or a little uh, white out, or even just put a little piece of white paper there. His little nose, mouth. I'm not doing a lot of detail on him. And let's see if I can correct that eye. Cause like I said, when that happens, it doesn't look. Okay, a little bit better with that little whitish gel pen. Now we're gonna be gluing these together. Now remember, if you have a glue stick, that's great, wet glue. Or if you don't have any glue, you can make a paste. If you don't have that, then we can go ahead and you could have done it out of one piece. You don't need to collage it together like I'm doing. Um, and once you see it on the head, you could be like, oh, I don't think my ear shapes are quite right. So I can put them back together and trim them up. So I realize I want the top of mine to be a little bit flatter. And sometimes it's about trial and error. I think I'm gonna like that better. Yeah, that looks better. So let me grab my glue. All right, now that I got my glue, we're gonna glue this together. So I'm gonna put a little bit right here. We're gonna attach those ears. And you can see like, do you like the way they're pointing? So once you get the ears the way you like them, we're gonna be attaching the head. Make sure you give it a little bit of space in between because we're gonna be putting the shirt on top of his head and we want it to kind of line up right there. And then the hands will be going on both sides of those buttons. I like how the ears are going off the page, but if you didn't have extra paper, you could just draw this onto there and then color it in. Still gonna be cute either way you do it. And it might have been better if my brown was a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I could go back and fix it or whatever you think is best.
Now, since I didn't have a gray ship, I could go in and color it. And here we have our finished Yoda bookmark. I think he's pretty cute. I could go in and color it. That's up to you. So I hope you had fun making our baby Yoda bookmark. I think he turned out pretty cute. Oh, can you see him? Oh my goodness, he's cute. So I hope you had fun with that. If you're not into baby Yoda, obviously this corner bookmark could be used as any animal or whatever you'd want to put. So I hope you have fun. May the 4th be with you and tune in tomorrow because guess what tomorrow is? Cinco de Mayo. So we're going to have another theme day this week is actually full of a lot of themes. I'm not going to give them all away. So tune in for the rest of the week with Art with Miss Joe. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, please, if you liked it, hit that like button, comment, tell me if you like this, if you like the idea of the theme days, if that makes you excited. And um, as always, post this, follow it along, send me your photos, send it to a neighbor. Let me see what you guys are making at home. I love it. So have a great day. Bye.